Okay, we are given the point, negative 1 comma square root 3, and we know that's on the terminal side of theta, so let's go ahead and make a sketch first. Right here, we have the x-axis, and then this is the y-axis. And we know the x value is negative 1, and the y value is square root 3. Let's go ahead and write this down right here. Let me say this is negative 1, and let me say this right here is square root of 3. And I have a point right here. For the terminal side, we go from the origin, and we draw a ray pass through this point. And that's the terminal side, right? And we know the angle theta will go from here to here. And let me indicate that right here for you guys. In this case, we can draw a right triangle, because as you can see, it's right here. That's the x value, it's negative 1. And the y value is the vertical distance, which is the square root of 3. That's the y value. And we can also come with r. So r is from here to here, right? So let me label that as r, and we have the formula. It's pretty much the Pythagorean theorem, right? Anyways, r equals to square root of x squared plus y squared, square root of x is negative 1, and we square that, plus, uh, do it study carefully, y is square root of 3. So let me write it down, square root of 3 for y, and we square that, okay? And everything is still inside of the square root. Okay, uh, negative 1 squared is 1, plus square root of 3, and then square that, they cancel out, right? The square root, square cancel out, so we just have 3. And then you have the big square root outside. This is 1 plus 3, which is 4, and take the square of that, which you know at the end, you'll end up with 2. So r in this case is equal to 2. Okay, now we are ready for all this. Sign is, well, this time let's just do it slightly differently. Let's do tangent theta first. Tangent theta is y over x. Okay, remember that. And you have to remember all these definitions really, really well. Tangent theta is y over x. And the connection between the picture and the y over x definition right here is that, you see, if you look at this as a right triangle, if you look at this as what we call the reference angle, tangent is the opposite over adjacent. It is still y over x, just like the usual definition of tangent. But anyways, tangent theta is y over x, which is square root of 3 over negative 1. And let me put this down as square root of 3 over negative 1 first. But of course, we can rewrite this. This is just negative square root of 3 at the end, right? Divided by negative and over 1. The 1 doesn't matter, so this is what we have. Okay, for cosine theta, it is what? x over r, right? Okay, x is negative 1 over r is 2. So we just have 1 half. But it's negative, negative 1 half altogether then, like this. Sine theta, sine is y over r. y is square root of 3, so let's put that down. Over r is 2, so we have square root of 3 over 2. So this is it. And now moving on to these right here. And once again, let me just do it for this one first. Cotangent theta is the reciprocal of tangent. Let's look at this fraction. I will put this down as negative 1 over square root of 3, okay? So, uh, this can be an acceptable, acceptable answer, uh, but not at the moment, because we still have to rationalize the denominator, okay? So, you just multiply by square root of 3 on the bottom and also on the top, and you see that square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just a 3. On the top, you have negative square root of 3, and this will be the final answer that you're going to present to us. Next one. Secant theta is the reciprocal of this, which is 2 over negative 1, which reduce that to negative 2. Last one. Here, we do the reciprocal of that. This is r over y, right? r over y is the reciprocal of that. Anyways, 2 over square root of 3. And rationalize the denominator, multiply by square root of 3, multiply by square root of 3, and you get 3 on the bottom, 2 square root of 3 on the top. That's it.